Now, how many of you, how about you? Any of you regret having your children? Now, if you, if you have teenagers, we'll give you a minute to think. We understand. <laughs> But really, I mean, we laugh and we joke, and, uh, but the truth is no, no one ever really regrets giving life to our children. So how is it then when there are so many, like myself, who share testimony after testimony after testimony of the heartbreak and wound of abortion, abortion continues again and again and again? And I think the answer is quite simple, is we have an enemy. Our enemy is, we have an enemy who hates God and hates humanity created in the image of God. And abortion is a very strategic target because not only is, does he destroy human life, which is, which is a direct attack on who God is, the creator of life, but abortion doesn't just stop there. Our enemy is very strategic. He's going for, he's going for some real estate here. And it targets women because women are told that it's not a child, it's not important, it's, it, it's, it, it's a lie, and you, you, you can take this life and walk away, and you're going to be fine. And it's a lie. And it completely strips them of their God-given design to nurture and love their children. And so again, it's another affront on God and who created, what he created women to be. But he the enemy doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. Abortion targets the men. Abortion targets the men. Because you got on the, one, on the one side, you have society and the abortion industry saying, you don't have to be responsible. You can walk away. Just pay, pay on the way out. And then you've got, on the other side, men who want to protect their children. And the law has stripped them of any right to do so. So whether it's by choice or by force, men's God-given design to defend and protect their family is stripped away because of abortion. Another attack on God. Abort abortion is not a women's issue. It's a family issue. It's a society issue. Abortion is not a political issue. It's a spiritual war on the God of heaven. 